hello everybody, hello. My name is Emma and welcome to Saturday Night Threats. Okay, so here we are. So this is what we're going to be making. It's a headband and it seems to be really, really easy to do. So I'm just gonna get started. Now, what they want is, um, I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of yarn <laughs> off right now because I have no, nothing to put it in. So it won't roll anywhere. I don't have nothing. Uh, I wish I had like a little basket. You know those little baskets? I should make one. I should make a little basket so I can put the ball of yarn in and it can I, it can come out without it, me worrying about it rolling all over the place. Um, I might have to keep it on my lap. <laughs> okay, so first off, they want, in order to do this, and I might not be able to finish all of this today. Oh, it's staticky. And I had a different, uh, what do you call it? A different uh, crochet needle, but I can't find it. <laughs> so I had to take the one that I was using when I was making my, um, my throw cover. So we need 69 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. Give me one second. got to get interrupted by something about yeah anyway okay so we have 69 now what we're going to do she said that we are going to do a double crochet in the beginning yeah so it's a double crochet one two three and you do three stitches and then you're gonna, did she go say to go into the third one? I don't remember. Oh shoot. No, I know what she said. Okay, so she said to go to do a double crochet into the third stitch. So it's gonna be right here. And then we're going to do one and two. So that would be our two double crochets. And then you're going to keep doing it all the way to the end. So you're going to keep going and going. I hope I had 69, not 70, because I got a feeling I didn't, um, what do you call it, do. I don't think I took all those three out, <laughs> but it'll be okay. One stitch won't won't make a difference. So we're doing to each one, and we're only going to do um, six rows. 
once we have this one done, the rest will be um, easy peasy. It's just trying to make sure that um, everything doesn't doesn't curl up. You just want everything to be straight. The first part is hard only because like again you just want to make sure you're getting into all the all the what do you call it all the stitches and you're just doing double crochets all across until you reach the end so again you do you do 69 and then you don't do three stitches you just go backtrack to the third stitch before and then that'll make your your two uh, double double crochets in the beginning okay and I never knew that I always thought in order to have you know a first double crochet you had to do three stitches and then and then go back into um, a third you know the, the stitch right right before you start and I never had to do that. I was like, oh, wow, okay. Because it picks it up, it bends it up. Well, you'll know what I mean when, when you do it. It just bends it up, and there there you have your, your uh, double crochet. And then the second one, and then you just keep going after that. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So I saw this and I was like, this seems simple enough, you know, to, what do you call it, to, to do. Because I was looking at all these different um, projects and I said, oh, they had, they had this one uh, band, but it had like ribbing. I mean, it was really cute. And I saw, oh, I wouldn't mind trying to do that one. That one looks really cute. And then you can always like dress this up. I mean, you could crochet a flower and put a flower on it if you want. I mean, it could be, it doesn't have to be a headband, you know, to hold your hair back. I mean, it could be like, um, like just something, you know, just for decorative, you know, just to decorate your hair. It could have a, a flower, like, you know, like over here or something. So you can use it any any way you want. But for me, it would probably be just to keep my hair, you know, out of my face. Like if I'm washing my hair, I mean my face, or if I want to put like some ointments or whatever lotion on my face, it'll keep it from touching my hair. And so I just keep going. Crocheting, once you get you know, learn how to do it. It it's really easy. My it, my grandson wants to learn how to crochet now. I mean, he I, he started, but he wants to make those little those little figurines that are made that a lot of people have been uh, doing. I forgot what they're called though. They have a certain name, but they're little animals. And what he wants to do, he wants to crochet. Um, a turtle because he's into turtles so I'm like oh okay that sounds cool to do a turtle but I forgot what they're called but I think you know what I'm talking about they're just little animals and they they crochet them in parts like they'll crochet the hands they'll crochet the head and then they'll stuff it with stuffing and then they close everything up and then that's where you uh, end up getting the the shape of whatever little animal that that you're making I've done odds and ends you know I've crocheted jewelry the spiral little jewelry you know and I put be I would attach beads to it I've crocheted flowers and made earrings out of those. The only thing that I haven't really mastered yet and I'm trying is the knitting, the knitting uh, cables. 
I'm trying. <laughs> and those take a lot of practice. And I did find my small um, cable needle. Because so I had the large one. I couldn't find the little one. I found it. I was like, yay, now I have it. And then I, I kind of get upset with myself because then I, I think, you know, oh, let me put it away if I can remember where it is later. And then I forget where I put it. I'm like, ah, oh, you got to stop doing that. You got to put it somewhere where you're going to remember. Okay, so we're getting towards the end. And then at the last one, all you're doing, you're just going to do cha three chains. One, two, three. You're going to turn it. And now, when you get into this one, she wants you to go in through the back um, stitch, not the one here, the one behind. So you're going to do three and you're going to do double crochets, but you're going to start in the back. So we're going to do all the stitches in the back. Or crochet in all the back stitches. So you always have to flip your work so you can see where you're at. I just flip it. This this little project shouldn't take you long to do. On the contrary, I mean, I mean, it'll tell you, if if you want to finish it in one day, you can. You know, that's you know, if you're determined. But you could do, um, you know, just pick up the needle and do it whenever you want. You know, you don't have to do it all in one day. You could do it, you know, in the morning. You can do it in the afternoon. Pick it up. Do it at night. Just slowly do it. You don't have to hurry. That's one thing about crocheting. You don't have to hurry to make projects. Just take your time in. What now? Oh, okay. Well, you can't get in or what? I can I just tell them to go, a simple thing, to go get me quarters, to do laundry, and then they want to meet up with friends. I was, no one said for you to do that. I just want you to go to the currency and get me some quarters. <sighs> okay, great. Yeah. Just put them in the in the oh, okay. Yeah, they are heavy. Mm -hmm. so, happened to the green bin. Oh, I changed it out for Easter. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The green still would have matched. Yeah, it would have. Okay, what's up? Carbon stick. Oh, cool. We're just doing the second, the second row. I hope they don't plan on going anywhere because I didn't say they can go anywhere else. Just sometimes they're they're old enough, you know, to go run and get a couple things. I'm not making them row, you know, go and do get me a whole list, but I. Sometimes I just get tired and I'm like, no, you guys go and <laughs> go get me this. They're big enough. They're old enough. And I didn't cook today. I'm like sandwiches. That's all we're eating today. Sandwiches, soup, whatever. I'll probably cook tomorrow. Maybe some beef stew. We haven't had beef stew, so I'll probably make beef stew tomorrow. So again, we're just going through the back stitches. Oh. 
I'm sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just concentrating. <laughs> just trying to concentrate. I like the color purple. When I saw the purple, I said, ah! I'll use the purple. <laughs> I just have so much yarn that I'm like, I just, you know, I just want to get rid of it, you know? I've been piling up with yarn so much, and I'm like, you know, I got to start using it. And so, I'm like, I'm going to start making a whole bunch of these, and then just start packing them up. You know, and just give them away as gifts. With other things, of course, not just. Hey, Grandma. Not just this. What? Has the dog touched the blue ball? The blue squeaky one? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Is it when they, when, oh my God, when they left yesterday, because just seems like everybody <laughs> was leaving out of the house. And the dog was, every time everybody left, he would get upset. And then it was only me and him. <laughs> uh, the dog, why, why is everybody leaving? And I go, what, what, what am I, chopped liver? You know, you don't care about me? Oh, poor thing. <sighs> ah, excuse me. <laughs> so you're going so you're making six rows and then you're gonna go oh, what the heck is this i've been going through this a lot with yarn look at see how they have a knot i don't know if you can see there's a knot in here i've been going through that with a lot of yarn lately like they don't have what i mean i don't know how they're spinning the yarns lately but do they they run out of yarn and they have to tie a knot or something even with new with new skins I go through the same thing like the machines run out of um, yarn and instead of them you know I don't know, and they it runs out. And they just tie it to another one, another bolt, bolt, or whatever they call it. Okay, so we're getting to the end. So I'm gonna have to go one more to make sure it's even. Wait, and I want to make sure they're even. Okay. So then one, two, three. And now when you turn it around, and look at that, look at that knot. <laughs> okay. Now when you turn it around, they want you to do the front. So instead of the stitch in the back, you're doing the one in the front. So you're gonna go over, and now you're gonna go to the one in the front. There's always like two strands, and they want you to do the back one first, and that's where you get that like ripple, that ripple effect. What? And I don't know where my other blue. I had it was a plastic little blue crochet. Um, needle and I could have sworn I had it with this it must have fell or something because I don't know where it's at I'm like where'd it go <gasps> oh I think I know where it's at I because in order for me to do this part right here I needed um oh what is that called Oh, that needle, a mending needle, what is that called? I forgot. It's just a needle for you to slip through all the yarn so that, you know, you can uh, tie all the threads together. A darning needle, that's, that's what I needed. And I think I have the other needle with that. At least I think. <laughs> I'd have to look and see. But I think I pretty much put it together. Because I, I couldn't find it. I'm like, where the heck is it? 
Very, very simple project. I was like, this is a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> I thought it was going to be tricky. Like, uh, I don't know. How do they do that? How do they, you know, make that twist? I thought they had to tie it and do something. No, it was just, oh. That's how you do it. So you never know until you see them do it, right? <laughs> Just like I've been watching a lot of tutorials on resin. And they just, oh my God, these people, when it comes to resin, they just, they just keep improving and improving. And I'm like, man, the things they come up with. Although I don't like, um, I mean, I do work with resin too. I mean, I have worked with it. But I noticed that every time I work with it, all my pieces become very sticky and then they become, they turn yellow. So I don't know what to do to prevent that. So I don't know. Unless you color the resin, I guess it wouldn't happen. happen but for the majority, yeah, and then you have to buy spray so that it won't be sticky. It became annoying. I was like, what the heck? Why is it so sticky? So I had to buy um I had to buy spray to spray everything. To spray all my pieces. So again we're just going through the front. All the front stitches are from the stitch. <laughs> There were some where they were crocheting little rings, but I'm like, who would want to wear a crocheted ring? It's going to get wet. <laughs> you know, if it rains or something, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, during the summer, I guess it'd look cute. Uh, who would want to wear a crocheted ring? I don't know. Maybe earrings, maybe. You know, if they're... I've seen this one girl, she makes all these tiny little, uh, like, very tiny crocheted uh, threads. And she makes earrings out of them. They're cute, but, you know, I don't know. So we're on our third row. So we're only doing six rows. Oh, I have an itch. Oh, my God, they have these turtles. I don't know, we have these two turtles, and... We have two filters in this in this 30 40 gallon tank and it's still not keeping the water clean. And we're like what the heck? And then if we get one for a 70 gallon um you know filter it costs like almost like 70 80 dollars. We're like what the heck? I mean the turtles are happy but the water's not clean. So we might have to change the water tomorrow, whatever. But the sound of it, I feel like I'm in a rainforest or something because of the water. <laughs> and the turtles like it because, like, they're they're taking sh showers constantly. <laughs> I mean, it's cute and all, but it's not keeping the water clean. So, I don't know. We're going to have to do some more research. And see what else we can do. I don't know how many minutes I'm in. I can't tell. For some reason, I don't have that thing on my camera. I don't know why it disappeared. But I take it on in like 15 minutes already. Well, I'm not keeping a time on this one. I'm keeping the time on the clock. So I'm trying to keep a, a time on it. I hate it that I don't know what time it is. Because it used to be on there. But I don't know what happened. 
two, three, and then we're going again. We're switching. And then, so that's how the ribbing is starting to look, okay? That's how it should look. So then again, we turn, and we're going to go through the back again. So we're doing, we're doing a repeat of everything. So we're going to the back, to the back of the stitch, and we're doing the same thing all the way across, going through the back. So it'll be one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and that's how we're doing. We're just doing ribbing. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're just repeating everything. I hope everybody had a nice Easter. It just came and went so fast. We had ribs. <coughs> Excuse me, ribs. <coughs> and um, Spanish rice and, and just potato salad. Nothing fancy. It was just me. My husband's not here with me anymore, so. And the kids really don't eat. The, well, my kids really don't eat, you know, that much. They're, cause they, they, have, they eat their own meals. They make their own meals. And the grandkids, well, they just eat the potato salad and, you know, hamburgers or whatever. <laughs> They're not really into ribs. I just wanted something different. I didn't want I didn't want ham. You know what I mean? Usually ham I save it like for um Thanksgiving. And I didn't want an Easter basket. And they didn't do Easter baskets this year. They didn't have Easter baskets. I bought I mean, we had enough candy. They didn't need it. Basically it's all, you know, stuff that you can get from the dollar store. But um, I, did, I did buy them a lot. They had a lot of sweets. Cakes and everything. And um, and then I wanted I wanted an egg. Because so I made sure I bought myself a chocolate egg. And it was pretty big. Well, I mean, it wasn't that big. But it was nice and big. Okay, so I really missed that feature. I don't know why it's not on my camera. I don't know what I did wrong. But I really need that feature on there. I can't tell how many minutes I'm in. And I can't press menu because it'll stop the recording. So I have to figure that out. So we're all getting ready, I, I, I suppose, for that lunar um, eclipse, or that solar eclipse on Monday. So I have to go shopping that day, so I am definitely will be back before it happens. The kids will be in school. They already had um, some forms filled out so they can use the glasses so they can see it. Like on Monday. It's on Monday. And on Monday I get my plushies. Yeah, you do on the 22nd, right? Yeah. 
Which sucks is because it's in like six No, wait days. a minute. Yeah, it's at the, at the 22nd. They, you still got oh, another week and a half. Sucks. Man. Yeah. He's waiting for these things that they ordered online for him. That makes me want to kick I'm the like, water. No, that ain't going to come right now. Kick the no. water. Kick the water. Kick the water. Kick Gonna the have water. to wait. Kick the water. Kick I mean, it'll come eventually, you know. Kick the water. 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 And Grandma. Mm. Not too many days ago. It used to be like three or four days, but then all of a sudden we checked the calendar, then it turned into 16 days. <laughs> like, what? Hmm. Oops. Well, it was because it was already the 22nd when I bought them, and then it took like a couple of days for it to finally be the days until it's Monday or something. Like, no, that. no. And then one thing about this camera, it can't go over 29 minutes. That sucks. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what the heck? So we're going through the back stitches. And I think I think that's pretty good. Then again, one, two, three. And then again, we're going, this time we're doing the front. Oh, don't you know the rich people that are... On YouTube that get paid like millions of dollars like every single day or something. Mm hmm They have they have like cameras that could go up to like uh like ten hours. Yeah, I don't know how they do that. I don't know how they film like they have their camera on and they film overnight. I mean how do they do that? I don't know what kind of camera they're using. Like they film for where they can they can hours. film that long and this one won't even let me film uh for no more than 29 minutes. I'm like, what? This one, that is one it doesn't... the card? Is it the SD card? I mean, I don't know. It, it I don't even, understand that. It doesn't even at least let you record for 40 minutes. I mean, how do they do that? What kind of camera do they use? Because I'm, I'm like, you know, they... Because I sometimes I watch Omar. Oh, my gosh. Or I watch um, Mo Sarji, and they're into these... Um, they do these haunted uh, videos, and sometimes they'll be spending the night at haunted houses, and they have their cameras recording all night. And I'm like, how did they do that? I don't know how they do that. I mean, how do they let the camera run all night? And then they fast forward everything, you know, to see if they caught anything while they were sleeping. I don't know. I don't know what camera they use. But anyway, we're going through the front of the stitch now because I already did the one in the back. So we're just having that again ripple. I'm going to try to do as much as I can on here. Okay, I did 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Again, I don't know how many minutes I'm in. That aggravates me. I, I don't know if I'm, you know, ahead or behind. And my blanket, the one I'm doing, it's coming out nice, too. I like the colors. I'm I'm doing gray right now. It's gonna be those like natural natural tone, natural tone color. It's gonna be really nice, and it's gonna be really warm. So that I know for a fact. <laughs> okay. Why do kids always do that when you're, you know, to me? Why? It's called a kid's life. Okay. What I actually said was, it's a kid's life. <sighs> yeah. I know I heard you. Man, I really did want some hot chips today. <laughs> I should have bought some. I'm you like, I'm not going. Uh, not too much into pop. 
Let's but I really, I like spicy stuff and I should have gotten some. I'm just too tired. I'm not going nowhere today. I'm done. Yeah. I went shopping this morning. Now, I was tempted to get some barbecue uh, chips, but I like the hot ones instead. I like the the Lay's, the hot, hot stuff. Those are really good. Okay. Okay. So again, we're still going through front stitch. I got caught on something. Oh, let me do this over. It caught on something. Okay. And sometimes it happens. You're, you know, it gets caught in the yarn. Just undo it. Do it over again. Okay. I think I'm, tr I'm going too fast. And that's what happens when you try to go too fast. You start making mistakes. So, I'm just going to take your time. Does your camera run, you know, does it make sounds when it runs out of battery? I think mine does. But it's, it's fully charged, so I'm not really worried about it, but... It will stop if it goes over 29. 29 minutes, it will stop. All by itself? Yeah. These were a step. But then you know what you can do? You can stop the video right at 28 and 59 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to go one more because I want to make sure this is even. Hold on. Finding. And then we're going to, uh-huh. So I just want to make sure it's going straight. So I'm going to do one, two, and three. I'm going to stop here. So this is the ridges. So we're going to do, see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We need one more row. And then next week we're going to put it together. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to get the darning needle and then I'm going to show you how to do this part right there. Okay. So like a fish in the sea, so glad you caught me and we will see you next time on Saturday Night Threads. Bye everybody. One hunt.